Hello everyone, I'm Linda Costa in the KSBR Newsroom. Here are some of the stories we're following for tonight's newscast on Live at 5. One of Branson's newest and still uncompleted hotels may have to close up shop before it's even finished. We'll tell you why. A Springfield man will spend the rest of his life in prison for killing another man with a roofing hammer. And President Clinton signs legislation helping flood victims get back on their feet. Most of the money will go to people living in Missouri, Illinois. Our conclusion on Prescription for Change tonight at 10. Well, no doubt about it, Tom Hanks' latest film, Philadelphia, is a smash at the box office. Movie critic Joel Persky says while liberals will love it and conservatives will hate it, the message is important. Why is our... Late tonight, the shield you see on the front of a firefighter's headpiece will soon be the creation of one of Springfield's very own. Captain Jim Cottingham is designing the embossed... Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Costa in the KSPR Newsroom. Economists say the Federal Reserve Chairman's warning that interest rates will go up indicates the economy is doing well. Wall Street echoes that sentiment today as the Dow Industrial soar to a record close. City leaders try to drum up support for a proposal that would pay for stormwater improvements, and a Springfield teenager goes to court on assault charges. Those stories tonight at 10. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Costa. The U.S. Olympic Committee has formally submitted skater Tanya Harding's name to officials organizing the Winter Olympics, but the glory could be short-lived. Jerry Jacob has the latest information, plus the rest of the sports action. A Missouri appeals court gives Greene County the go-ahead to issue a permit for Springfield's materials recovery facility, and we'll show you what goes on at the mall before shoppers arrive. Those stories tonight at 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Costa. Short-term interest rates may change dramatically. An appeals court sides with Green County over a conditional use permit for the MRF. Springfield leaders are pushing hard for a stormwater improvement tax. Some startling findings regarding teenagers and drugs. Those stories, plus weather and sports, next. Join us. Linda Costa. Sports Director Jerry... Federal Reserve Board got the attention today of the White House. Alan Greenspan told a congressional committee there's no question that short-term interest rates will be going up. It's just a question of when. A hike in the rate could have a big impact on things we buy on credit. The story from CNN's Wolf Blitzer. Because...